Hello there, I am Giant Grover with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we got uh, the Stone Badge, and we went through all that of Route 116, except for the top part, because we needed HM, um, the, the Stone Badge to use HM01 cut outside of battle. But yeah, as we exit the gym, this guy got robbed again of his Devon Goods. So yeah, oh, it's you. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Okay, I guess that makes that means we have to. And how many repels do I have? Just in curious out of curiosity. Six repels. Um I might as well use two at least throughout this part. Um, I don't know, maybe more. So what I'm gonna do is just in four wild Pokemon battles and having to cut and edit. I'm gonna use a repel. So there we go. Nice. So, we can go over here, go through here, and this guy, oh, oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Wow, Pico! That was bad, but you know. So here we are back in the rest of the tunnel. If we go over here, oh, this guy's here with the wingle. What are you coming? What are you coming? What are you coming? Come and get some then. I don't think that first part made sense. Let's talk to you. Oh, I forgot to talk to the Wingle, man. Okay, whatever. Grah! Keyhole with all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. That's not very nice. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Heh, <laughs> you. So what do you. So what do you want to. So, say you want to battle me or something? I don't know. We're gonna take you down. Guess what this Pokemon, this guy has again. He has the same Poochiana, but this time it's a level 11. I know it's two levels of an upgrade. Because it was level 9 in Petalburg Woods. So, I'm just gonna wing attack it to the face. And it'll faint. Oh no, I was getting cocky there. It didn't faint in one hit. I was being cocky. Cocky. I apologize for that. Let's use Water Gun then. And that Poochiana is history. Some experience, that's nice. Urgh, my career of crime comes to a dead end. Because <laughs> there's a dead end in the tunnel. I get it. And I get $2.20 for winning. This this is just, this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be an easy, it would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. <laughs> you want it back that badly? Take it! Yeah, we got the Devin goods back. Yeah. He just runs off. Pico, am I glad to see you safe? Pico owes her life to you. So, Pico is a girl! Yep, okay. So, they call me Mr. Brenny, and you are? Ah, so you're Gretel. So you are Gretel. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that trouble, Now, if there's... Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Pelberg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So we can just exit the tunnel now. And I'm gonna actually just, um, go over this route real quick. So let's just cut, actually. Oh, also, I'm gonna go to that. First, before that, I'm gonna have to cut that tree in a second. But yeah, I want to talk to him again. Now, Roy, that goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can get back to digging. Good for you. Now, if you go in this house, you can actually talk to people. So yeah, to get to Vander, to get to Verda and Turf Town without using the, this tunnel, you'd have to cross through the sea to Devon, sail to Slayport, then travel through Maville. Yeah, that's a long way. We'll get to that later, though. That rest of tunnel there. At first, we had a huge boy coop boing. Sorry for that interruption. Um, at first we had a huge boy crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. It turns out that we have had to navigate efforts on my Pokemon in the area, so we've got nothing to do but roll around here doing nothing. That's good to know. So now let's recut that tree, and I still have Peter up front. Let me check where my levels are though. So let's see here. Oh, I've been so freaking except for shrooms and helper, of course. Okay, um... 
Let's just use some double battles, I guess. I don't mind. Just so you know, I've nev never once been busted by anyone at anything. When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's glorious fur, their beauty will render you helpless. I see you might have a skitty or something, I don't know. Oh, what type of insects is good? Never mind. So let's use Wing Attack on the low tide and Ember on the Zix Gun. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is good gun, huh? Okay. Use that Ember. Use that Ember attack. We find it nice. Interesting, use Telep, okay. That's not to faint you, haha. Yeah, let's do this. Gucci and huh? attack. And Ember, of course. There we go, we want to kill it, cool. Oh my goodness, this is this is a new experience for me. Oh baby, say it isn't so. <laughs> so get we get um thirty two dollars out of that, you know. Potion, yeah. Okay, um we can, you can cut down this tree, and if you have a cut well you need to cut to get tax, this is part of the route, but you can use cut on this tree and then use cut on this tree to get get the rest of that double rod right there. I'm just showing it just for the fact that you might want to see how it do how it goes, even though it's kind of pointless, but okay. So there's be a hand I'm there. There's a super potion here. So now with Ah oh, dang it. Okay, I wanted that to be a double bar, but okay. Now you're making me cut the tree and go back all the way around to get to the other trainer. Thanks, school kid Jerry. Just use cut it and just go to the other train too. Let me teach you how strong the po my adorable Pokemon is. Challenge accepted. Wait, well, huh? On me, okay. Level sixteen, yay. Nothing above me or something like that. I I to click too fast, my bad. I got a hundred and a dollar forty four cents out of that battle. Ooh, items. Antidote and skip um skip up cool. Let's, see, let's go back. Let's see what Blaine has. So let's make Blaine level 16. That'll evolve into Combuskin finally. That'd be cool. And then we can go over here and use this cut on this tree. These put berries are still um, planting, but we can water them with the Ramble Pale. See, look at the little animation with the watering that plants. That's cool. Now let's water this one too. We can come back and always pick this one later. When it grows some more, but right now you can't really pick it as a berry. Yeah. Well, yeah, here's some berries right here. Two Chester berries. And again, Chester berries cure sleep. So, that's awesome. You always need some of those things. Huh? I want a Punda berry, actually. <laughs> and two more Chester berries. Cool. Oh, I don't want to. Dang it. Okay. So, yeah, Girdle found one ether. Okay. Let's see here, let's go back over here 
and yeah, boom. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. Ask me thanks. I'll give you another great ball. Thanks, pal. What do you do that day? Excuse me, please. Please come with me. We're in the Devon, Re Devon Corporation's building on the third floor, as he says. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm great, how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, this parcel you give, you got back for us. Could you get? Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Southport? It would be an awful. It would be an. It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Um, uh, hee hee. So, uh, I uh, 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 dang it. I skipped through that one. Oh, that's right. Can you wait here for a second? <laughs> I fail. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our stuff not just once, but twice. I have a favorite task of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slugford's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Dufort Town? I was hoping that you deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Obtain the letter. Yeah. Mr. Okay, Mr. I don't do that. Now you should know that I am a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. Poconav, which is like the town map and a VS Seeker put together. That device. And, a, and Pokedex, a Pokemon contest thing too, for like the conditions or whatever. Uh, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokemon for short. It's an ir indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of, ho of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dufoot and Seaport easily. By the way, I've heard that you s that sinister criminal Magma and uh, criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you got on your way. Heals up a Pokemon, how nice. Well then, Gretel, go with caution and care. What do you have to say? If you visit the shipyard in Zipport, you should go to the you go see Captain Stern. I remember the name, Captain Stern, Captain Stern, Captain Stern. How nice. Ah, uh, don't worry, we'll be we'll be returning to this place. I think two more times throughout this walkthrough guide. One's actually coming out very soon, but I won't spoil anything. Even though you guys probably have played all this game, played this game longer, or played this game way before I did a walkthrough guide on it. I mean, it's 2014, man. Seriously, it sounds like you've, it sounds like they've recovered the ripped off Devon goods. And what do you have to say, Counter Lady? Hi, and welcome to Devon Corporation. We're, pr we're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. Good to know. One of, I think the guy I just talked to first said. We always welcome here and we'll be in Sapphire. But anyway, I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great. Gretel, may I see that Pokenav, the one our presidents gave you, our president gave you? Click, 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 click. I like that. There you go, Gretel. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokemon app. Use the Match Call feature. You can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokemon app. Now this will get really annoying considering in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and Gold and Silver, the more Pokemon you add to your your cell phone the more you would get interrupted and these are some of these are mandatory and you'll you'll get messages from everyone basically that you battled or most likely everyone not everyone every about not every trainer you battled but f I'd, about, I'd say about the majority of the trainers you battled they'll register you in your pokemon av so yeah girl president stone should be registered in your pokemon av test it out please give our president a call so Go to the Pokenav, we got Horn Map, Condition, Match Call, and Switch Off, which, you know, Switch Off is just going back to the main menu. And let's go to Match Call, like you said, our only th registered friend on our Pokenav so far is the President, and yeah, we give him a call. Oh, Grotal, since you called me, the Pokemon Nav should be working properly. Other people who will be registered, so try calling them too. Good, good, you seem to be quite happy. Hmm, how could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Haha. <laughs> Wahaha. See you again. So, yeah, I'm not gonna call other people back unless I have to, so don't worry about that. Okay, okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Gretel. 
Good to know, good to know, good to know. Now, if you get Pokemon Navis in your list, I want your start menu basically. Here's the Hoenn map, as we said before. We're gonna shove all for Hoenn. We're gonna cover all these areas, and it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, wait, first of all, I, go, I have to go back to the map. Okay, so right here is um the Dufort Town, which we're going to for next. And then we want to set all the way to Slaveport. And don't worry, we'll get there somehow. And I won't spoil it now, of course. Because I probably won't get to this part, you know? I've done a lot. So, next thing you, you probably want to do is, um, let's put Prime up front. I have an interesting strategy in mind. So, you'll go down here and pass the Pokemon Center in a second. You'll see, well, if you go pa oh, past the Pokemon, you'll see May. So, yeah, let's talk to her. Oh, hi, Grodel. You have a match call feature put on your Pokemon. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. You gotta like that chime though, it's a nice chime when you add some to your Pokemon have. Okay, so yeah. On oh by the way, I passed Mr. Brinny in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Gretel? Mine's looking pretty decent. So how about a little bottle? Now this battle is optional, but I'm gonna do it for the experience and to show you guys. Okay, so you just became a trainer. Gretel, I'm not going to lose. Ha ha ha. I have a special strategy in mind. So Maybe we'll have two Pokemon this time. Now, I think it goes, um, let's see here. I don't know how it goes. If you chose, um, Torchic, you will get that, um, maybe we'll have a Torkoal and she'll have a Mudkip, of course. I think if you chose Mudkip, she will have a, I think she'll have like a Lotad or a Shroomish or something. If you chose, um, Mudkip. Uh, oh, let me think about this for a second. Oh wait, now, if you chose Mudkip, she'll probably have a Wormer or something. And then if you chose Trico, she'll have a, uh, Shroomish as I said before. Now, I think it matches, if you chose, I think it matches your starter with the new Pokemon will be. Cause you know, Toko is also a fire type, Shroomish is also a grass type to Trico, and then Wormer is also a water type to Mudkip. It just depends on who you chose. So yeah. I think it's gonna be the same step. The new Pokemon will basically be the same type as your starter. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I'll put a text over to correct myself. So I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Though I'm gonna do a warlock combo because every time Rolla gets double the power, every time it uses it in a in a chain, but it'll get really really powerful if it gets to like five times or four times. So it did only that much, but I'll do double the next time, and it'll be an automatic move, so I don't have to select it again, which is very nice. So you can watch the damage grow. Okay, so this isn't looking at very well, but at least it may take down the Torkoal. Now, Curse, it's just lowering its speed, but it's um, attack and defense will raise, I think. Yeah, def attack and defense, that's right. Boom. So, now I'll do more damage. Roll out. Ah, oh, man, it's not doing much. Okay, good, the attack missed. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hit five times, baby. I think it's because it's using Curse so much, it's raised up this defense, so it's not that... And Toko has major high defense anyway, nonetheless, so that's why Rowell is not doing that much. Oh my gosh, that was really awesome. Do I want to switch out or not? Hmm. Uh... Let's see, summary... I want to see how much experience points you have. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Blaine. I'm gonna challenge myself and use a Blaine. I don't know, I know this Mudkip has Water Gun and Mud Slap, which is really annoying. Oh, we're both level 15, huh? Okay, so let's use Scratch. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt. Stop using Water Gun, be stupid, May. Come on, CPU. I'm gonna heal. I, I, I don't want to lose against this Mudkip, so I'm being very picky. Stop, use, use Mudslap for all I care. It'll still be super effective. Dang it. This is not going my way. This is not going my way at all. Okay, critical hit, nice. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I'm faster than it, so let's go. Yes, we're faster than that. Awesome. Nice. So there we go. Level 16, baby. You're trying to learn Peck, I'll take it. Peck's a, Peck's a decent move for Twitchick. 
focus on show cut bye bye haha <laughs> Yikes, you're better than I expected. Nine dollars, haha. <laughs> what, brain is evolving? Oh my goodness, brain's evolving. I've been waiting for this for a fairly long time, so I'm glad it's- I'm glad Torchic is finally evolving into a bus skin. But my brain is evolving, for that matter. Awesome. Trying to win double kick. Oh, this music is in the background. That's awesome. Okay, so double kick, yes. We want to get rid of growl. We got nice. So that's a fighting type move. And when Torchic evolves into Combustion, it will be a fire fighting type now. Oh, by the way, Mr. Bunny, who just who I just passed. Gretel, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Bunny was once a revered seafarer. Nice. Good to know. Is there anything in my bag I want to sell by the time I'm here? Oh, and make sure before you head off to Mr. Brain's cottage that you stock up on items. I'm pretty good right now, and I have plenty of Pokeballs too, and Great Balls, so I don't need to stock up. And thanks to, thanks to pick up, to help me pick up. That's awesome. And, yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to put speed up to the front. And let's continue and go to Mr. Bunny's Sea Cottage, which is on the way back past, or uh, just b before Parabola Woods. But first I want to show you guys a couple things. If you get down this tree, you can get an X attack, I believe. I think it's an X attack. Which, which is a free item, which is nice. Or X accuracy, my bad. I know it's an X item. <laughs> okay, so now, and then after that, you can go over here, back into Parabola Woods. And you can actually get down these trees, or one of them at least. You only get down one get through so you don't have to cut up both of them but if you want to cut down both of them be my guest I'm gonna put another repel on so I don't run into wild Pokemon okay there we go nice um here's a hidden item it's um tiny mushroom which can be sold at the, at the Pokemon it's for money that's what, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sell it and if you talk to this girl right here oh neat that's the battery from the rush bro gym uh, from rush bro gym you must be a trainer you should try using this item Miracle Seed, oh this is an awesome item, it's, I'm favorite, I like grass types a lot, I think what got me on grass types and what makes them my favorite is that it, it could they could learn moves like Giga Drain or Mega Drain which re recovered half the HP that they inflicted on an enemy or foe or other Pokemon, which is really awesome, I'm gonna give that item to Shrooms, and I, okay, give an item, not take an item to Shrooms even though it doesn't have one, Miracle Seed, because it raises the power of grass type moves which is very nice, so there we go. We go over here. Here's another item. It's visible. It's a great ball. That's a v we have so many great balls now. I think we're like 12 or something. And um, we don't need to go back over here. Here's another item right here. X attack. Nice. And by this time you get to do for it, you should have all that one of each of attack at X items if you don't sell them like I do, of course. Right here's another tiny mushroom. Very worth picking up. It's hidden, so it's right there. Ah uh, man, walk, 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 walk. Yes, okay. So we made through that one piece, and we're just gonna go through here, and we're gonna go over this ledge, and yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna queue up in between videos, and this has been then my Pokemon Emerald Boxy part. And next part, we'll take on. Mr. Brainy Sika, which is right here, which is where we need to go next. And we'll go continue on with our journey, I guess. Go to Doofer Town, hopefully. So this one, Jalanko, again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.